the independent panel reports on Palapala saga have just divided the opposition party. Yes, this report which was assigned by the parliament to assign a certain independent committee so that they can go up and follow this Palapala money robbery. Since it has come out, it has raised a lot of conflict within the politics in South Africa. And this time, it has made the DA, which is an opposition political party in South Africa, to call for early election. And on the other side, the commanding chief of the EFF, Julius Malema, had to contradict that and not calling for the early election. Instead, the EFF chief in command had to confirm that the election will only take place in the calendar that we all know about and that calendar it is in 2024 but they still stand with the opinions or point of view on how they want to see Ramaphosa to be stepping down so in this video guys we are going to have a very interesting conversation about this there is a couple of questions that we're going to debate from the uh, press conference, which the leader of EFF, Julius Malema, had taken time today to address the media. So we have wrote down a couple of things which we would like to go down point by point so that we can all try to understand what was his message to the world this time, as he always do time to time. Of course, still again in this video, we're going to raise up questions such as now that the two opposition parties they have to have different opinions on this one calling for the early election and another one sustain and remain in the position of having election only in the appropriate calendar according to the constitution of the country so who's gonna succeed on this one and who's going to fail about it because at the end of the day they still need each other so there we're going to understand why Julius Malema have to come and contradict the DA on uh, this part of calling the election in the early hours because the DA them they have said Ramaphosa should remain there yes now that this report it is up and everyone they have now an, an idea to know that the president had done something wrong somewhere there as we had asked you a question earlier on in our previous video to know whether the president has really violated the constitution or not so thanks to those one who get the time to give us also your point of view we really do appreciate that through this video, of course, we'll uh, announce the result to see the majority of uh, people who had voted in a certain categories. But EFF on their side, they don't need the Ramaphosa to be there. And as for the election, Julius Malema says that the election should remain to be organized in 2024 so you can get you can get to tell that this conflict between uh, the EFF of Julius Malema and the DA of uh, John they will never gonna go work or be in the same um, in the same side of a political uh, politics in this country and we all know it is for the obvious reasons. So, the question we will raise again in this video is to know what will happen if Ramaphosa have to resign? Because we get to see how people are having different sides. Some they are like, okay, Ramaphosa should go. Some they are like, no, Ramaphosa should not go. Ramaphosa should be there. Some they are even going far by saying that the Ramaphosa did not steal money from anyone, neither from the government. 
the money that was stolen in that house was Ramaphosa's money. So in this video, guys, I'm going to tell you also what did the commander in chief of EF, EFF, Julius Malema, had said about it. Is he also confirming that this money belongs to Ramaphosa or was it the money which belongs to the public? Guys, it is very important to know that the EFF, what they are doing, it is not just a simple opposition political parties. Instead, it is what they call radical political parties. They are so harsh. That's why you guys get to see them being more focused in everything they are doing, especially when it comes to towards the ANC. And for that reason, as I always tell you time to time, that there is no a way that such political parties, the EFF, they will have mercy on uh, uh, ANC or any other governing political party. Instead, people like uh, EFF, they are there to prove people wrong. That look people that you guys have trusted with your votes. See what they are doing to you. And see what us who could have done for you if it, we were in power. So therefore, each and every opportunity they will get on the way, they will make it trend. They will make it become bigger even, even if it was something small. Now guys, we have made a couple of videos where we get to give you our analytics, our point of view and our commentary on this matter of Palapala. Pala. But tonight, I don't want really to focus on who did what or who have done what so far. Instead, I want us to take it from the moment when this report was released and to make story short to everyone who are watching us right now we all know that this report was released and they give it to the parliament once they submit it to the parliament we get some reactions from almost all the political parties or politicians around the country including mr president himself he had announced to speak to the nation and according to the report that we had in our possession during that night when he's supposed to uh, speak to the nation apparently mr president was going to resign but we end up hearing, uh, hearing another kind of sort of like wind coming from the ANC members, some ANC members, they had to go and poison Mr. President to not leave the office, telling him how too much stories, look, if you do this, you'll do that. And you guys, you get to see some of them coming in the media, describing people who are calling for Mr. President to resign or to step down from the office as a criminals. Yes, these people they have to come and say that no, Mr. President, you never gonna what 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 what. He's not gonna resign. Uh, that money is not steal it from anyone. That it was his money. This and that, Mr. President, resign. Uh, if he had to resign, to resign, it would be kind of like he's giving all the glory to the criminals. It is criminals who are calling for Mr. President to resign. Well, that again. It reminds me of uh, what happened back then with uh, former President Jacob Zuma. Because we get to see the same people who were there motivating Jacob Zuma, telling him, encouraging him to not leave the office. And these are the same people who are doing the same thing again today with the President uh, Ramaphosa. Telling him, you know, 
you must not leave the office, you must not do that, because if you do this, people will think like that. You know, they get to give different reason. But does it really make sense? Because we all know that when Ramaphosa came in the office as a president, he came with a kind of like a clean, uh, a kind of like a clean recall according to the ANC. They had find him as a man who has, who have a less of a problems or issues compared to other people. And we get to see how some other political parties, they had to give him that chance, that benefit of doubt, hoping that the man was going to do much more better, different. Where are we today? That is not the case. So, perhaps, the moment when the President Ramaphosa was trying to resign was for him to keep he, that good reputation, that good image of him. Because, guys, whether you like Ramaphosa or not, the guy is good, personal, like as an individual. The guy is good. He's very friendly, he's, he's, he's kind in everything. But when it comes to the leadership, of the country that is where a lot of allegations are being raised against him and this man perhaps he wanted to do something like no look i don't want to face the humiliation as other people i don't want to do this that will raise the problems in the ANC. instead let me just resign and wait to see what will happen but since the ANC they have become this political party where it's it, it all about influence. Yes, you get influenced by certain people, whether by the big master, you know, who are sitting somewhere. They get to tell you, no, guys, don't do this, don't do that. And you get to obey them. That is the reason why we are getting where we are. Now, the question is, for how long Will President Ramaphosa have to hold? Because whether we like it or not, the president has violated the constitution. He himself, not me, himself, he even said it that there is some negligence which he had committed. Because the moment when he said that, no, the money is my money. It's just that there was some negligence which took place that I did not pay much attention. That already is a way of a, a person trying to admit his wrongdoing. So you must be a profound, you must be a, someone who don't have ears or eyes to get to see what is happening. But anyone with your own conscience you get to see that no something had happened but still what procedure or what needs to be done in order for everything to remain the way it was before and that is where you guys get to see now a lot of people in the ANC they are kind of like bumping each other you know this one like no the president must do what is right this one is like no what is right according to us him he must be there yes I get to see one of the ANC uh, member which I'm not going to mention the name here on the TV saying that President Ramaphosa should be there until the upcoming uh, Congress so they were going to vote him as the president of the ANC and they're going to put uh, Paul Mashatil as deputy president in 2024, earlier, 2024, maybe January or February, Ramaphosa then is going to resign. And Paul Mashatil is going to take over. Now, when I get to listen to this person, besides the fact that he made me laugh, the way of, his th uh, of him thinking, because according to me, you, I can get to understand that actually this guy, in their mind, they believe that 
there is no one better in the ANC who can take over the ANC and run this country if it is not President Ramaphosa and Paul Mashatil. Even in the upcoming election, they are not too sure whether they can have someone else as a potential candidate that the ANC can provide for him to be or had to be voted as a president of this country besides those favorite uh, leaders that we get to see now when i listen to him i'm like okay actually this guy what he's saying we must not we must not just laugh instead we should pay more attention to what he's saying because this is what is happening yes this is what is happening this is the game that they're trying to play but what guarantee do you have? Because now you can tell, that's why I, told, I keep on telling you that, guys, in the near future, don't be surprised if you guys get to see some members of the ANC leaving the ANC. Because you can tell that here all this guy was trying to say in the, uh, on the TV, it is worth trying to send a loud message to all these other ANC candidates in this upcoming congress that we don't want you you don't want to be there as it is Ramaphosa or nothing it is Paul Bashatilo or nothing okay fine but when you send in this kind of message what about people who have also assigned those people those other candidates those delegates who have sent them that okay guys go there we're gonna vote for you what about them? Do you think that they'll just stand there, close their hands, and listen to what you are saying or what you are imposing to them? That's why I'm saying that there's a serious problem in the ANC. But we are not there for that. Guys, President tried to show that willingness, but he got stopped by his own people. The same way they did with Jacob Zuma back in days. Mr. President, no, never listen. We're going to protect you. We're going to do this. That's the reason why you get to see people like a, a Gordon Mantash who came out in the media like, whoa, 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 whoa. Bugging too much on how to protect Ramaphosa. But what did the president of EFF said about Gordon Mantash? Because they had to ask me a question. Gordon Mantash is saying one, two, three, four. What do you have to say? Well, Julius Malema described Gwede Mantasha as a criminal. He treated Gwede Mantasha as someone who's supposed not even to be free out there. And he told the media today that if Gwede Mantasha keep on uh, backing up uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, it is because he knows if Ramaphosa go, him also is going to go along with him. Perhaps Ramaphosa will go out of the office and remain as a free man out there, enjoy his business because now it is well confirmed that Ramaphosa never quit doing his business. So obviously he's gonna go back in his activities and continue making his millions of money. But what about Gwede Mantash, according to the EFF leader Julius Malem? <laughs> the man he says that Gwede Mantash should be arrested immediately. And they are actually planning to go to the court to go and check if there is any things that the court is doing about someone like Gwede Mantash. That is Julius Malema today. He said if there is no any uh, report on the table that can help the court to uh, pursue someone as Gwede Mantash, then the EFF will do it. So they will just have to recruit all the evidence that they have in their possession and take away the matters to court. So, according to EFF leader Julius Malema, he says that Gwede Mantas is not someone to listen to. He's someone who's trying to protect his own interest. And personally, if I have to give my point of view on that one, guys, I'm not going to give it a doubt at all. I'm not going to doubt it because 
I know how politics and politicians work. They can do anything in their power to protect their own interests. And that is what you guys have been seeing so far. As I said earlier on in this video, Ramaphosa himself is willing to collaborate or cooperate with people of South Africa by telling them, okay, guys, look, I back off. But same people who were there in the time of Jacob Zuma, whether it is in the parliament, whether it is in the, 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 the ANC, they are going, trying to encourage him, begging him. Last week I listened to one of our close friends to uh, President Ramaphosa, who I listened to him, I think, on the radio. The man is saying very well that no, I spoke to the president, he told me that he's going to resign. Ramaphosa told him, I am going to resign, but he says that I begged him not to resign. And people are behind all these things of Ramaphosa not resigning. I'm going to tell you now. First of all, all of them in the majority are people who have something to benefit in the presence of Ramaphosa being in power. Do you know where the words of Pepet comes from? Well, some people are trying to use you or detecting you, telling you what to do and you just go ahead and approve it. So there are some business men and women out there who don't want Ramaphosa to go because they'll end up losing their interest. There is some companies who have signed deals with Ramaphosa. There is even some companies also who are getting tender all because someone like Ramaphosa is in power. Not because they went and tried to compete against each uh, other companies and they managed to win the, the, the tender. No, they're getting it just because someone who's linked to somebody have a word or a last signature to, to put on the paper. So these people right now they get to see if we let Ramaphosa go, then we are down. Our business is going to stop. Everything will be the losers. Because remember, when the new leadership are come, they are coming. I'm talking about these African leaders. That's how they are all over. When the new leadership are come, they are coming with their own people. So they'll have to wipe all over and start installing or putting their own new people. So obviously, everyone who gets to work with Ramaphosa at the moment, they, will, they, are, they are not going to allow or accept Ramaphosa to leave the office. That is the reason why they have to go and beg him, no, don't do this, no, don't do that. Okay, fine. Again, the question I asked you earlier on, for how long will you will then be able to resist? And what did Julius Malema say about it? Well, according to Julius Malema, he considered Ramaphosa as someone who had resigned already. First of all, we all know that the EFF and his leadership, they never believe in Ramaphosa's leader, uh, uh, leadership, or should I say, they were for ruling the country. But today, the president of EFF, Julius Malema, said that Ramaphosa is no more a president. And he has to confirm that it's just a matter of hours. I can I ask you guys for how long will they be able to resist on the side of those people, whether it is in the ANC, whether it is in the companies or businessmen and women who don't want to see Ramaphosa leave in the office? For how long will they be able to keep on convincing Ramaphosa to remain in that position? Because according to the leader of the EFF, he, he, he believed that it is only a matter of few hours Ramaphosa will be out. So, EFF leader Julius Malema, he, he salutes, or shall I say, yeah, he salutes and he says that he's so happy for the fact that Madam Speaker of Parliament of South Africa impose people 
to not have a secret ballot. So according to the EFF leader, Julius Malema, he says that he's so happy about it. Now, I want to stop, to stop there a little bit and try to tell you why I have to bring this up. Guys, do you still remember in the time of uh, former President Jacob Zuma when the same EFF had to call for secret ballot and the parliament speaker, president of parliament back then, they had to refuse for that uh, secret ballot to take place because they wanted to threaten these other ANC members so that they will see who vote against the ANC or who vote again, uh, with the ANC. Forgetting that the moment you sit in that parliament, you are no longer depending on your political party. You can get some guidelines, guidance, I mean, from your political parties, but when you go to vote, you need to vote with your conscience. And Julius Malema said it today in the media, reminding all those people that when you're going to vote, you should not vote with your political, my, uh, political party in your mind. Instead, you should vote with your conscience. So, back then, during the time of Jacob Zuma, they had asked that for a secret ballot so that they will allow each and every member of the parliament to vote freely without being put pressure. Now, this time we're talking about President Cyril Ramaphosa, right? And, the, and Madam Speaker, she had to come and impose all the voters that this should be something more publicly and not a secret ballot. So they were expecting that EFF, they're going to fight over it or they're going to say something about it or maybe they're going to raise it kind of like a, another issue to the point of allowing them to cancel the the procedure for tomorrow Tuesday because it is tomorrow where they are going to vote whether they will place an impeachment against President uh, Ramaphosa or not. Unfortunately, Julius Malema surprised them again this time by approving what they just said. And here are the reasons that Julius Malema himself had to explain why the EFF, they have welcomed the uh, no secret ballot on what the parliament have said so far. So he had to give the reason saying that we want this vote to be more public so that people of South Africa can get to understand who are the people that they have voted in the ANC. He wants this vote to be more public so that everyone can get to understand who's who in that parliament. He had to say that a lot of people recently from the ANC, they've been doing upset, um, up, up and down and try to give the point of view, whether it is on the TV, whether it is on the radio, whether it is on the Twitter, all over social media the way they calling for President Ramaphosa to resign or maybe to do something which is more good for them. So, the EFF leader Julius Malema says that tomorrow it will be the time where we get to see everything they've been saying to the radio and TVs. Is it true or not? And here, I'll also have to add and say that myself, I got a chance to watch a lot of debate from people from the ANC whenever they're asking them a question. When it comes to the Palapala issue, all of them, they were having only one language. Some, they were just going straight to the point and say that, no, president should not even discuss, should just resign. But those ones who, who were trying like, to remain a little bit loyal to the president, they would only say that, no, it is not the right time for us to be talking about that right now. 
we should uh, allow the pan uh, the independent panel to do the job we'll give our comments once the president is uh, uh, is fine being uh, guilty or have some answers to to give to the parliament so now that the report has been released these same people they came they were like okay because they were now they were put uh, in front of the world the own words so that the, either they will have to respect it or either they're not gonna respect it so now majority of them they were like okay now now that the independent panel have said this in report i think mr president what is good you should just try to avoid this because imagine they have to remove you in the history of the president of our uh, south africa you're not gonna get your benefit and everything we think this would be a good idea for mr president to follow okay so julius malema says since they've been saying all these things two more we want to see them in the parliament tomorrow they must tell us whether whatever they were saying it was right or truth otherwise people of south africa will see and that is another trap that the eff leader had put guys for your own information because everyone will be watching tomorrow to get to see what will happen in the parliament if it happened that the ANC members they vote against this uh, president in impeachment, then every South African have uh, South African who have conscience, they will definitely feel so disappointed, and they'll feel like people of the ANC they are play, uh, playing with them, and they are not gonna have that courage. To vote for them again in 2024 so for that reason it is a risk whether I mean which the ANC will have to take tomorrow or they not gonna take it but we shall wait and see about what will happen so guys 